My Golly Vibes family, welcome back. Listen to me. Hallelujah. Listen to me. Jay-Z's new comedy movie stumbles at box office, earns back just a fraction of $40 million bu dollar budget. $40 million dollar budget. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my gosh. Hallelujah. A new comedy movie produced by Jay-Z makes back just a small percentage of its $40 million budget during its domestic box office opening. The Book of Clarence, ladies and gentlemen. The movie where they were mocking Jesus. We spoke on this before, I believe. They were mocking Christ. It was the movie, the movie's about a man seeing Jesus and then him imitating what Jesus did and everybody flocking to the man as well. It's disturbing. Don't go see it. It's trash. I'm so glad this is the reaction. Stop mocking the Lord. A lot of these people trying to go woke. A lot of these people doing different things. They're mocking God, and it's coming back negative for them. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. Jay-Z is the same man who said, Jesus can't save you. Life starts when the church ends. Y'all don't want to talk about that, though. Because he's married to Beyonce. Beyonce should know her husband is saying this type of stuff. He's the same man who said, I told my, my wife the spiritual stuff really works. Alhamdulillah. If he says Jesus can't save you, but he's saying the spiritual stuff really works, what spiritual stuff is he talking about? Let's not get into that. Let's stay on topic. The book of Clarence made less than 10%. <laughs> oh, my Lord. Of its $40 million budget in its opening weekend at the domestic box office, the film opened at number nine on the weekend chart below older releases like Aquaman and The Lost Kingdom. The comedy stars Lakeith Stan Stanfield and features a star-studded assembled cast. A lot of different star actors in here. Yet people wasn't going to see that trash. Anyways, the Book of Clarence has made back just a fraction of its budget. During its opening weekend, the biblical comp, first of all, it's not, it's not biblical. It's not biblical. It's mocking the Bible. Mocking it. The trash comedy stars Lakeith Stanfield in the title role as a man who decides to imitate the rise of Jesus Christ in 33 AD and pretend to be a new Messiah. So imitation Christ. Yeah. We, we should have known, you should know what it's going to be when it's supposed to be a biblical movie and it's produced by Jay-Z, a man who said that Jesus can't save you. Life starts when a church ends. You should know automatically, off top, off back, what kind of movie this trash is going to be. Also feature starts that it, blah, blah, blah. The Book of Clarence release has stumbled out of the gate. <laughs> Hallelujah. During its opening weekend, it is projected for a three day total of 2.57 million, with the four day Martin Luther King Jr. holiday total of 3 million. This total is less than 10% of the movie's large $40 million budget and has the movie opening at number nine on a weekend chart. Below six older releases, including Aquaman and The Lost Kingdom. Anyone but you, Night Swim, Migration. It, 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 it bumped, in other words. Will the Book of Clarence ever make its money back? <laughs> My Lord. Not if it's up to Christians. Hallelujah. Not if, not if we have anything to say about it. This blasphemous, trash-like movie. I, like... It makes you it makes you question the different actors that are even in this nonsense, right? Make you take a look back because people be thinking that they just acting. Like not when you not when you acting about my lord. Hold on, man. <clears throat> Jesus was not soft. Jesus was not soft. Jesus was real as real can get. Jesus told truth without compromise. Jesus was love. Love is truth. Jesus was not soft. I'm tired of people coming on my comments saying be more Christ-like. 
Was Christ being Christ-like when he whipped the money changers physically? They don't want to talk about that. Was Christ being Christ-like when he called the Pharisees a brood of vipers? Calling them serpents. Who's a serpent? Satan. He was calling them Satan. The son of Satan. Sons of Satan. Was he being Christ-like then? Should I be that Christ-like? Was Christ being Christ-like when he called his own when he called his own disciple Peter, get behind me, Satan? Was he being Christ-like then? Should I be that type of Christ-like? What Christ-like are you talking about? What, what Christ-like would, would be good for you? What Christ-like would be good for you for me to be? Which Christ would be good for me to be for you? Was, was Christ being Christ-like when he stepped into the Pharisees' homes and he was telling the Pharisees off? Was that being Christ-like? Too many of y'all have been learning about the wrong Christ. You don't even truly know the King of Kings. You don't truly know the Lord of Lords. You know this baby Jesus in the manger. That's who you know. You don't know God. Be Christ-like. Do you know who Christ... Guys, my... Computer just shut down. My system just shut down, actually. This recording, this recorded system just shut down right now. That's why the sudden switch just happened. That's wild. When I'm talking about what Christ should I be for you? What would make me a good Christ? Or what, what would make me more Christ-like for you? People don't know who the Lord is. Read your Bible. Read your Bible. It's a good book. The Lord is truth. It's time for us to stand on truth. Not compromise like a lot of these different people do. Know who you watch. Listen to what they're saying. Are they standing on God's word or are they trying to compromise because of man's ears? Listen to them. They are showing you who they are. They are showing you who they are. I'm a Christian. I'm a Christian. I'm a stand on what it I'm a stand on what it is to be a Christian. I'm a stand on what it is to follow Christ. We don't go with the pastors and the teachers who are listening to secular music. We don't do that. We don't play Jay-Z. We don't play Taylor Swift. We don't play Billie Eilish. We don't play Lil Nas X. We don't play Beyonce over here. We are real Christians, and we are rising. The remnant of God is rising. The fire of God is rising. Truth is rising. And the enemy is frightened. That's why you got so many people just manifesting. Doja Cat manifesting. Lil Nas X manifesting. They're showing you their demons right on the screen. They don't even know what they're doing. They are puppets, industry puppets. If you're still listening to these people, if you're still watching these people, you are headed in the same place they're headed. Unless they repent. We do not mess with secular artists. We are Christians, and it's time we start putting more value on what it is to be a Christian. Our brothers and sisters in the first century church were killed, fed to lions, skinned alive, set on fire for different parties, for their faith. You think they were martyred and their lives were taken and their children's lives were taken because they stayed silent? No, they spoke up. That's why. And what they said was offensive to people who didn't want to hear truth. There is no such thing as a silent Christian, my brothers and sisters. You don't just follow Christ and stand on the sideline. You become a trumpet for God. Your life is no longer your own. Your life is no longer your own. Once you present yourself as a living sacrifice, too many people have been in deception. Too many people. 
Like we, we just we just come to Christ and, and say a sinner's prayer and go back to living our normal daily lives. No. Once you present yourself at the altar of sacrifice, your life is not your own. Salvation will cost you your life. It's too many people out here saying it's free. Like it's some kind of Geico commercial. No, salvation will cost you everything. To, to be a true disciple will cost you everything. People who are pulling you back, it don't matter if they're family or friends, you leave them. Your life without God, your life, your worldly life, you cut it off by the root. It's time to get back to truth. The Lord said there will be a great falling away. That word falling away is apostasia in the Greek. It means defection from truth. How far have we strayed, my brothers and sisters? How far have we come from truth, my brothers and sisters? Put more respect on Jesus. So many people out here are mocking the Lord. Why do you think that is? Because Satan knows his time is short. And if Satan's time is short, you better get right with God. Now is the day to make a decision. Now is the time to choose a side. You going with God or you're going with the devil? And if you are not walking with God, you're walking with the devil, whether you want to or not. I'm not like these other teachers and these other motivational speakers. I'm going to tell you exactly what it is. If you are not following God, you're following the devil. If you are not seeking God, don't expect to seek God when you leave this earth. Stop chasing material things. Stop, th stop chasing things in the world. Chase God. Matthew 6, Seek ye the kingdom first and his righteousness. Seek God. Glorify God in all you do. May the Lord Jesus Christ be glorified. I love you guys. God bless. Shalom.